choose your elegance. Okay, which tramp stamp am I gonna get? Am I gonna get the... the swan princess? Or the special snowflake? Special snowflake all the way. No, I can either be from the 80s or shave my head like a douche. Welcome to Star Wars. Oh, hey, the hentai people. They are my favorite Star Wars. Doesn't get much more effed up than that. I stand corrected. I can't wait to be an evil cat, otherwise known as a cat. Now you'll see what a Sith is capable of. Yes, a Sith is capable of chasing a ball of yarn. Darth Vader did it all the time. Oh no, someone fed the cat too Looks much. Like it's time for a bloodbath. Cats don't like baths. Now I'm Darth Maru. I find your lack of cardboard boxes disturbing. Isn't giving a cat facial hair kind of redundant? Sexy though. Time to rage. And by rage, I mean go to sleep with a cute expression on my face. This little poem I wrote. Thundercats are on the move. Thundercats are loose. Feel the magic. Hear the roar. Thundercats are loose. Thunder, thunder. Thunder, thunder, cats. Thunder, thunder. Thunder, thunder, cats. Time to rage. Oh. That's my poem. Why would you have any hair color that wasn't platinum blonde? It has friggin' platinum in the name. The description. I will bring the Republic to its knees. By aggressively clawing at their furniture. Now I look like Bakora. Darth Bakora. <laughs> Slightly less evil than real Bakora. Neko Neko Maddock. There we go. What the? Frig off! You're telling me Star Wars can have a character named Walrus Man, but Neko Neko Maddock is out of line? Oh, a force for change my butt. And why can't I change my butt? Now you'll see what a Sith is capable of. It's not changing their butt. Yeah, we'll just go with a classic. Blishtar. That's always been my online username. Nobody would suspect that it's me. Maddock Ishtar. Eh? A man can have anything. Except the name Neko Neko Maddock, apparently. And now he's gonna kill Colonel Sanders. He became Jeremy Irons. With your birth comes a solemn vow. I solemnly vow to let somebody you else change your diaper. Over there. Yeah! <laughs> your privilege is the dirt. Well then check your dirt privilege. He heard Goldar! We go through more Goldars that way. Somehow these CGI humans are more believable than the real humans from the prequels. In the darkness, only ambition will guide you. That birthday party piñata doesn't stand a friggin' chance this year. The oath you swear, the promises you make, they are yours alone. Yeah, props to them. Giving yourself a buzz cut with a lightsaber must be difficult. The Swag Army. Heartburn strikes when you least expect it. Freedom will be the wars you wage. Man, this isn't my Star Wars. Where are all the trade disputes and negotiations? Your birthright. The losses you suffer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, Darth Hentai is pissed. Goldar, tend to Goldar. I have a wounded Goldar over here. The pain you endure. That's not how you do a Dutch radar. Oh, walked right into that one. There's a bit of an aggressive masseuse. And the fall of Darth Hentai. I sense a disturbance. Like a million weeaboos oogooing at the same time, and then suddenly silenced. You will face it. Alone. I'll kill you next if you don't stop narrating me. Hey Fred, you got knocked down pretty easy back there. Yeah, you could say I have a glass jaw. <laughs> Actually, it's a metal jaw, so that joke doesn't work. Freak you. Oh good, they blew up the Pharaoh's Pyramid. Serves him right. Whoosh. A 
I burnt my marshmallow. See, this is what happens when you don't keep your dual mats inside a protective tube. Ruins them. I want those shoes. Urge to bro fist rising. You never did like my cyborg ninja costume. <laughs> Hi, I'm Prince Arkan, and welcome to Jackass. Just a little off the sides, please. Oh, thanks, Darth Cockblock. I thought my stylish shoulder pads would save me. Hurt me more, Snake. Oh, oops. Here, let me cradle you gently with my metal robot arm. He died as he lived, with no dialogue whatsoever. It's all fun and games until someone loses their lower intestines. Well, great, now I need to buy another brother from the cartel market. Time to start saving up. Colonel Sanders disapproves. Um, hurt me more, Snake? Look what you did! Look at what you did, you bad boy! Come with me, son. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination, son. The Republic is so old it's having a midlife crisis. Bought itself a new Ferrari. Ridiculous. Ah yes, the past of the future. Galaxy really far away, let me zoom in a little bit. There. Now the title logo didn't get paid enough to appear in the game, it's leaving. Come back, we have Disney money now. Midriff, look at my midriff, isn't it sexy? It's well defined. There's text flying into space, lots of yellow words on the screen. They're flying away now. I didn't read any of them, so I don't know what is going on in this game. Oh shit. I really didn't read any of it. I have no freaking idea. Come backwards! Damn it. Oh hey, it's Planet Phallus. Whoosh. Stalactites of the future! I wonder if this is what Bakora meant when he said he wanted to dock with me sometime. Isn't that the final challenge in the Crystal Maze? Somewhere in the distance, Richard O'Brien plays a sad harmonica. Hey, Goldar. What's up, Goldar? Oh, hey, Goldar. How's it going? Yeah, I guess I'll just hunker down here. Father, they've come. I already know. I saw them check in on Facebook. Heh. <laughs> And he's been playing this game of Minesweeper for decades. Yeah, this fleet puts the frig in Nebulon B frigate. Whoosh. That was a short expansion. I don't know if it was worth the money. You've heard of the Millennium Falcon? This is the Millennial Falcon. It gets nothing done and just stares at its phone all the time. It's the ship that didn't make the Kessel Run because it was too busy launching a Kickstarter. Jeez, buy me a drink first. Hi, I'm a door. Nothing special, really. Meow. I'll be back shortly. Have Mars crew service the Fury in the meantime. Your name usually gets us pretty fast service. Shouldn't be a problem. I won't let any of those Republic tag-along sniff around, either. Can't be too careful. Yeah, and don't let them sniff my scratching post. It's mine. Lord Rath. Captain. Meow. Darth Mara awaits you on the bridge. 
I trust you remember the way. So long as there's a tiny mouse-shaped toy waiting for me, I'll go wherever you want. He wrapped up in his meditations to greet me himself. Meow. I'm certain my lord will be pleased that you're so eager to see him. That will be all. Welcome aboard. Okay, who dressed me? I am a cat, and wearing a cape this long is just asking for trouble. By the end of the day, I'll have clawed it into rags. Friggin' rags. Hello, everyone. I am a cat. Everyone should be paying attention to me at all times, except for the times when I arbitrarily decide that I hate you. There's a nice clean floor you have here. It sure would be a shame if somebody were to cough up hairballs all over it. Okay, I know I look kind of chubby, but the dark side adds ten pounds, okay? Ah, oh boy, stairs. Here we go. I received your message. And now that I'm here, I sense it too. We grow closer every moment. Our former emperor is out there. Somewhere out there. What will we do when we find him? Meow. We still don't know how to destroy him. If he has taken on a physical form, we will destroy it. That should at least weaken him significantly. As you well know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> if he remains incorporeal, at least we will know where to strike. Even if we don't know how. Why travel so far? Why consume every living thing on Zyos, then turn and flee into the depths of wild space? Look, man, I just want to know where my fancy feast is. I didn't come here for the Shakespeare in the park. He's mad with power. We can't expect him to act logically. Meow. Perhaps you're right. If we do locate him, I believe I can press the Dark Council into line. But I'm beginning to doubt the Republic will make any serious contributions. Their assistance here has been useful, but limited. Useful but limited, also known as Lucasfilm's stance on the expanded universe. The Republic and the Jedi took their shot at the Emperor. They failed. We don't need them mucking about any further. Mucking. Hmm. Perhaps you're right. My lord, sensor contact, 15 clicks, small, no life form readings, some kind of probe. Some kind of probe, the new Metallica album. Oh no, E.T. got drunk on the way home and now he's joyriding. The readings are identical to scans from the unknown force that attacked Korriban. Oh yeah, that thing. Raise shields. Pursue and destroy. You know, it kind of looks like a ball of yarn. If you just let me out there, I could probably take care of it if for you. If we probe in one piece, we could learn much more about who's spying on us. Wreckage can teach us enough, and it can't transmit our location. A huge slam on wreckage. Probe needs a haircut. We probed five feet ahead of ourselves just in case there was something there. Evasive maneuvers. Come about 180 degrees. Flail your arms around like something is happening. Beep! 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 Get it, he's backing up. This is what happens when the Gungans try using escape pods. You got Battlestar Galactica in my Star Wars. Well, you got Star Wars in my Battlestar Galactica. Contact. Report hostile forces. I'll sweep for borders. You get us out of here. Meow. Set deflectors to double aft. Divert weapon power to the engines. And somebody feed Shamu. She sounds very angry. 